Hello and good morning. My name is Wama Afis and then for today we will learn about how to create a Microsoft Access form uh, from a table. So I will show you from the top. Okay, here we have an ERD <coughs> where a publisher can publish book <coughs> and then an author and then uh, an author can sign a contract. So we will implement this ERD in Microsoft Access and then we will create a form based on this ERD. So let's start. Okay, uh, we have a book ERD. Just create this. So we have a table over here. Just click design form. So we start with a publisher. Okay, publisher ID. Okay, start with a publisher name. Okay, like this. And then publisher email. Publisher phone. All right. Okay. Next, uh, what we need to do is to create new table. So close this. And then create a new table. Here. Right, and then she to design view. Uh, put here author. And then create a new uh, <coughs> new uh, table author. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we only create a simple ERD where one book can only have one author. Although in reality, uh, we can have multiple author for one book. But we try to make it uh, simple. And so on. So, um, not L, okay, and so on. So when uh, sometimes they have a uh, uh, URL for the author, so you can create it. So next, uh, we can create a new uh, a new table, right? New table. Mm. And then we can uh, go to the table view. Uh, book. Okay, book base price can be in currency. Okay. And then uh, another thing is uh, book uh, ISPN. Okay, this is also a number. Okay, cannot be in number. Actually, it should be in, uh, in short text because ISBN. Right, and then we can have a publisher ID because this is on the many part. Be in number and author ID. Right, we try to uh -huh, implement these three relationship first, and then we can create a relationship from it. Okay, we can create a relationship from it uh, through a database tool. So, drag here, author, book, publisher. So, we have to drag ID, author ID to author ID. Oh. Okay, we have to reinforce all the integrity. And then the publisher with the publisher ID. And then we have to import referential integrity. So it will become something like this. Alright. Okay. So it becomes something like this. Okay. So we can have a relationship report over here. Where you can print it for your report uh, in your project. Okay. And then you can print it as a PDF. So, can save this, okay, uh, the report. Okay, what we have here is the relationship. And then you can also create a form. Okay, this is the one that I'm 
going to teach you okay you can uh, create a form wizard or a simple form so you can uh, try to create using form wizard first okay form wizard for the table author you can uh, select all of these okay accept id right and then you can create a mini type of form data ship justified or column okay try to create a column uh, wizard first okay and then author entry okay here is the example of the uh, uh, form okay that you can create and then you can edit this form also right you can edit this form so to edit this form just close this form and then close the relationship okay right click all right uh go to design view okay you can uh, then click the form right they create the form okay you can decorate the form like this Okay, book authors uh, application uh, and data entry. Okay, this is just an example. So, author names. Let's put here author. Or just name. Or full name. So you can uh, do many things over here like to create a logo okay select a picture logo like uh, my site logo over here okay to enhance your form and okay, this is just uh, my example logo okay, you can move anywhere this logo anywhere okay this is just uh, for a, an, an example Okay, how you can enhance your form, right? Okay, uh, right. This is how you can do your form, and then you can save it, and then you can do a data entry over here, right? Okay. okay and then just press tap you can go to the next entry okay next entry but uh, the problem is that you cannot go to back uh, back to the previous entry and this is a problem so in order to do that you have to create a button so that's close and go to the design view and then you can create a button so to create a button uh, to your form, just select one of these. Okay, this is one is the button. And put here. Okay, it become command 16. So it become a uh, uh, button, right? Okay, just go to record uh, operation or uh, record navigation. Go to the next and previous rec uh, record. Okay, you can go to here to the next record okay either you can use go to next or arrow next yeah, up to you okay you can label it as next so you can move over here okay record navigation first last Okay, previous. Okay, you can go here to BTN author previous. Sorry, you have to uh, type it something like this because you can refer it uh, you're using programming. So, over here. So, 
it seems that I have to delete this to make this uh, consistent. Okay, go to the next record. Okay, BTN uh, author next. Okay, just place it over here. And then uh, something that we're missing is the author's uh, author's ID. So you can print out the ID over here. You can put here the ID. Usually we put the ID at the top. So you can put the ID at the top like this one. We can enlarge the form. So put here the ID. You can put here the ID. Okay. So this one is unbound. Okay, just put your ID. And then you can delete. Okay, delete this. Okay, here. Okay, you can change over here. Right? X uh, here. So you can change whether it is editable or not uh, over here. So. Whatever it is, try to make it not uh, editable. Or sometimes you can also use a label over here. Okay. Okay, you can put it an ID. So you can make it uh, not editable. Uh, but editing here. So that uh, it cannot be enabled. So we can disable this. So it can become something like this. And then you can also change the form. Okay. okay the format and the form. Okay. The font. So it's all weight. Okay. Change it to bold. And larger size. Okay, so when you close it, you can review back the author entry. Okay, Ahmad Zulkifli, record number one. And then you can create a new record. <coughs> right. So, and then when you press that, it will save uh, the new data. So, you can have one or more data like this. So, this is how you create a form. Right here, you create a form. Next, if you want to create another form, okay, you can close this and then create another form. Okay, just use a form over here. Oh, sorry, just delete the form. Okay, just create uh, another form. Let's see it uh, would pop up a wizard. Um, okay, form wizard. You have to create a form wizard over here. And then click on the table. Okay, table book. Okay, to create a book, uh, uh, a book uh, form. So select the field. You can put your ID over here, publisher, author ID. Okay, sorry, uh, this one you have to create uh, last. Okay, last. Okay, the first one you have to create is a uh, publisher. So, because it does not rely on other table. For the book, it relies on the publisher. So, you have to uh, create here. Okay, and then finish. Okay, just like before, you can close. Okay, publisher. Go to the design view. Okay, publisher entry. Okay, just uh, repeat back what, what we have learned before this. Okay, here is the type of the form. Okay, format and so on. The so back color, you can change it. Uh, it's a back color. So, just like this one. Or you may uh, find it uh, easier to create a new uh, a back color. Background, okay. Okay. 
Okay, like this one. Okay, just a thought. Okay, this is just a thought. Okay, this one you want to enable it or disable it. So you just go to E. So sorry data. Okay. Whether you want to enable, you just disable it. Okay, disable it. Okay. Okay, you can go with uh, about the name, the publisher name. Email okay, office number address nationality, and of course, you can uh, also add the button. Okay, the button. Okay, record the mission. Uh, first, uh, sorry, next and previous record. Okay, VTN. Up next. And then over here. So when you go over here, you can create a new uh, record. Okay, this one is disabled. Okay. Okay, and uh, this one you can have a publisher ID over here. So it's very easy. And then also you can also create a, a, a main menu, okay? A main menu. So to create a main menu, you only have to go to the here, create, and then create a form through the form design, okay? Like this. So we can create a, a new form, create a form design. So and then you can create a button, all right? Button like this, okay? Okay, here you have a report operation and form operation. So you can create the open form. Okay. So you can ask you to select auto entry or publisher entry. So you can create the auto entry. Open and show the record. Okay. Open form, show the record. The text. Uh, Okay, auto entry and put over here. VTN uh, auto. You okay, can put here as large as you want. And then you can also here open here, open form. Okay, publisher. Here you can have uh, another form. So you can close this. And then we can have an entry main menu. So Whenever you are starting, you can create a main menu over here and then select here, auto entry. And then you can close it, a publisher entry. You can close it. So, very easy and simple. Alright, you can create here. So, if you want to customize, uh, you can customize the form over here, design view. Okay, you can create a text uh, as such, okay, text. Mm. 
a like this one. Okay, like you can format it. Okay, for size. Okay, this just an idea. You can do more than this. Okay. Right. and then you can just save it and then for the auto entry you can create a close button okay like this okay close button should not be uh, on the right Okay, you can go uh, form operation and then just click here close form. Okay, CMD or author close. Okay. okay, just example to you so that you can do your work. Okay, auto entry close form. Okay, you can do. Uh, doing this and then you can close the form so uh that's all for the lab uh for today hopefully you can uh, do this work uh on your own uh, tables okay i will be giving to you the access object uh for you to work with so uh please stand by for the assignment the assignment will be given after this week break so the assignment will encompass you to do this form. Okay, create a table from ERD. Create form and then create report. So today we have already covered the form. Alright, that's all. Uh, we'll be seeing you back after the break.